Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. So today I want to talk a little bit about casting and specifically how to use Chromecast devices. So Google Cast is a proprietary protocol that's been developed by Google a number of years ago and it's designed to basically play locally stored or internet available media on your different devices that support casting. And so a lot of people are familiar with it in terms of using casting with something like a phone or a tablet to cast to a TV. But casting can also be done from your desktop browser to a TV that is sufficiently equipped with a Chromecast type of device. So what we want to talk about today is a protocol or actually a application program called CAT, C-A-T-T, -T, otherwise known Cast All The Things. And it allows you to send videos from all types of online sources, YouTube, Vimeo, and several others, as well as actual media and local files to your Chromecast device and you can do so with this CAT program. The simplest way to cast, I believe, is from the Google Chrome browser. And here I have the Google Casting tab added up here that shows you how you can cast to various devices. And I have a couple of uh, Google speakers here, smart speakers, and I also have a Chromecast on my family room TV. You can go down to sources and say cast a tab or cast an entire screen and then you can go ahead and click on that TV and it will give you an option of which screen that you want to cast to your TV. We want to do our casting under program controls so I'm going to go ahead and create myself a Incus container that's going to be called cat-server and it's simply a container instance that can run the cat program. Now that I've created and started my server here, I'm going to go ahead and connect to that container with an Inca shell cat-server. As with all new containers, I'm going to go ahead and take the updates with apt update ampersand ampersand apt upgrade. The cat utility is a Python program, so I have some dependencies I want to install, including Python 3, Python 3 pip, the Python 3 virtual environment, which is a requirement in Ubuntu 24.04, and then the Telnet protocol along with the Telnet daemon and OpenSSH servers, as well as net-tools and Nano. Telnet is a protocol that is not normally installed and so now that I have my dependencies installed here I'm going to go ahead and do a nano on slash etsy slash inetd.conf and scroll down here to where it says telnet and I'm going to uncomment that telnet command so that it shows up in green. I'll do a control O and enter to write the file out and a control X to exit the nano editor. The next step here is going to be restarting inetutils-inetd. And you might wonder why we wanted the Telnet protocol. The answer to that is because I use a Hubitat Elevation Hub and the Hubitat Elevation Hub has an application called cat director which can use my cat server and allow it to cast things from a user friendly interface. With all of my dependencies installed I'm going to go ahead and add myself a user account and give that user account a password. And for management purposes I'm going to go ahead and put my user account into this pseudo group. Now that all that is done Let's go ahead and switch user over to my Scott account. And I want you to notice here, 
how the user prompt changes to Scott at cat server indicating I am now logged into the Scott account on my new server. Since cast all the things or cat is a Python application that uses Python 3, we're going to have to create a Python virtual environment. And that's what I'm doing with this particular command. Once our environment gets finished creating, which it just did, let's go ahead and activate that environment with the source command. And here we are with the prompt that says cat-env, letting you know that that is the Python virtual environment that we're presently inside. To install the cat utility into our Python virtual environment, we simply do a pip install cat. Since cat director over on Hubitat uses Telnet, Telnet does not use the .boshrc file, but instead uses a file called .profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an echo source to activate the environment here over into that .profile file. So now when I Telnet over here, I end up inside of the virtual environment and I can issue cat commands directly. To see the command options for the cat command, you can simply do a cat space dash H for help. And we should have been able to see that here. Since cat is cast all the things, it has two T's rather than one T like the cat command. So if I do a cat dash H with two T's, we get the help for the cat command. And how do we find out our available devices that we can use the cat command with? Well, obviously we do a cat scan. And when we do a cat scan, it will go out on your network and scan for Chromecast compatible devices. You can see here, I have my family room TV, a living room speaker, which is a Google Home Mini, and a master bedroom speaker, which is also a Google Home Mini. There are several devices out there that are currently capable of being Chromecast type targets. One example might be the Nvidia Shield. So let's give you an example of a casting command using the cat utility. And here I have a cat and the destination is Family Room TV the command I'm giving it is cast. And then this URL here is the URL for the Big, Big Buck Bunny video that is so popular nowadays as a piece of animation. If I hit enter, it will act as though it's going to go out and cast it. And it comes back with the prompt. That command did in fact cast to the TV in order to go ahead and stop that casting, I could say cat-d, family room TV, and then stop, and it would go ahead and discontinue the casting of that media. So that's the simplest use case of using a Chromecast device. Now, if I turned around and did a deactivate, it would go ahead and exit out of my Python virtual environment and return to my normal prompt. And if I did a cat-h from here, the program would be unavailable because it is running inside of the Python virtual environment. The cat director program that runs on the Hubitat Elevation Hub uses Telnet to accomplish cat commands and so here, if I do an if config, you'll see that we're running at 172.16.1.138. So if I do a telnet to 172.16.1.138, I will get a telnet login if I type my username and I type my password when it logs in, it is immediately inside of the Python 3 environment. And here, the cat command is available. 
So if I do a cat space scan, it will scan for and find my Chromecast compatible devices. Over here in my Hubitat Elevation Hub, there is a cat director application, which is a user defined application, meaning that it gets installed after the fact. It includes three pieces. It includes the cat director parent, the cat director child, and also a send messages to cat device driver. And so I'll include the information on how to get those and how to install them on the show notes. I'm not going to go into that detail here, but to give you an example, here I have uh, display front porch on TV, which is one of my cat director activities. If we look at it, it basically says that the device created with the send hub to cat driver is something called cat server. And that cat server has the address of my cat server that we just created. And then I have a device to send commands to, which must be a Chromecast device. And therefore we have the family room TV listed here. And then a switch to control the event is display front porch on TV. And then what that does is it performs some operations. The operation is a cast site operation. And here, I'm sending a local URL, which is basically an API endpoint, and that API endpoint will go ahead and display a website on my TV by casting it to my Chromecast. And then after a certain amount of time, and I believe it's around 60 seconds, I go ahead and terminate that with another command, but I'm not seeing it here. I guess on this particular one, I did not include that, but you can have subsequent uh, operations. For example, do this second and do this third and that sort of thing. Using Google Casting under program control is a very powerful capability. And I've always used it to do things like cast a contents of a dashboard with some home automation things on it to my Google Chromecast. And that has always been a very powerful function. And so I like the cast all the things utility because it allows me to do casting under program control. As I mentioned earlier in the show notes, I'll go into the detail in order to install the cat director to Habitat and how to do basic configuration for it. But I didn't want to get into that because most people are not necessarily Habitat users. However, I think the cat utility is an extremely powerful capability that I hope you will explore. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit your notification bell and we'll see you next time.